Good evening, and welcome to the 2024 Colorado Mesa University Associated Student Government Presidential and Vice Presidential Debates. I am Grace Stebbins, the Senate Leader and Election Committee Chair of Associated Student Government. Tonight's debate includes three out of the four candidate pairs running for the presidency and vice presidency. These offices are powerful positions dire elected directly by the students to represent the campus community. The president and vice president interact directly with university students, faculty, staff, and even administration like Vice President of Student Services Jody Deers and President John Marshall. With that, I'll introduce ASG Senator of Political, Physical and Environmental Sciences, Election Committee member, and host for our evening, John Monette. Thank you, Grace. The president and vice president not only run together in this election, but continue to work closely together if elected into office. This leads us to tonight's format. I'll ask a question of each candidate team and they will have their time to respond. The same question will then be posed to all other teams and they will have the same time to respond as well. It is now time to introduce the candidates for president and vice president. Molly Brimhall and Kyle Patton Lonnie Domingo and Miles Newbel, Cambry Holman and Malaya Brand. Each team will now have two minutes to introduce themselves. Molly and Kyle, you'll start us off. Hi, my name is Molly Brimhall. I am a junior, going to be a senior political science major, minoring in mass communications. I am also the president of the Political Science Club on campus and serving as the Social and Behavioral Sciences Senator. I'm really eager for an opportunity to advocate for students and represent all students equally. My name is Kyle Patton. I'm also a junior political science major here at CMU. I'm also a member of the advisory consortium <laughs> for an organization called the Lamb Prize that gives students an opportunity to submit political science essays to the organization to win money and have a chance to attend a conference and get their papers and research seen by professionals. So I have a history in advocacy and I really want to get involved on campus and I wanted to take the opportunity to be a voice for students here. Thank you. Thank you. Lilani and Miles, you'll now have your two minutes. Thank you, John. Uh, we first want to start by thanking um, CMU TV for hosting us and to um, ASG and the election committee for all that they've done this semester. Um, my name is Leilani Domingo. I am a sophomore majoring in EMT paramedic and business administration. Um, I'm involved in numerous things on campus, HPA, LSA, a former member of ASG, and um, I have the incredible opportunity to be the first ever CMU student, to be the student advisor to the Colorado Commission on Higher Education, where I get to be a voice for all students in Colorado. And like she said, I want to say thank you to the CMU TV and the ASG, ASG election committee. Uh, I am Miles Nubel. I am a junior. Uh, I am majoring in mechanical engineering technology. I am uh, involved in football and the BSA on campus. Thank you. Cambry and Malaya, now your two minutes. Thank you. My name is Cambry Holman. I'm currently a junior and I'm a psychology major. Um, and on campus, one of my positions is I am the SRA of Tolman Hall. Um, and one of the things that Malia and I have seen with being RAs is the mental health issues that go on behind the scenes that not a lot of other people see. So we wanted to run so that we can make awareness of this, bring advocacy to it, and find different ways to bring mental health out. And my name is Malia Brand. I'm currently a junior. I'm a double major in hospitality and marketing. I'm involved in the Hospitality and Marketing Club as well, and then I'm a RA in Pinion Hall. And as Cambry was saying, we just really want to bring light and help the residents and uh, people of CMU. Thank you all. Molly, we'll start off with you for our first question, which you'll have two minutes to answer. Why do you want to be president? What is the role of the president? And what is your goal with the presidency should you be elected? Thank you. Um, the president serves many different roles, uh, both formal and informal. The one that I would like to focus my efforts on is the informal, having a voice for students and a way into doors that those students might not have an opportunity to be in. And as president, I think that I want to focus on community and ensuring the functionality of ASG as an organization, ensuring that ASG members are held accountable and that the organization is fiscally responsible in the biennial. Thank you. 
Thank you, Molly. Uh, Lilani, we'll go to you next. Same question and still two minutes to answer. Thank you. Um, being the president doesn't mean just being the head of an organization. It means um, working the tireless hours and uh, committing to every single meeting and um, committing to just like my peers and the students at the school. Uh, I think it's most important to just be the voice um, in those higher conversations that um, as stated earlier, those meetings with um, President Marshall and, and Jody Dears, just being the voice for the student in those meetings and, and really just relaying our pillars and who we are and um, taking that into the organization. Uh, thank you. And uh, to you, Cambry, same question. I believe that being the president means building a bridge between the community at CMU and the upper people of CMU. Um, with that, one of the things that we want to do is really give people a voice on campus. Um, and with that, we also want to just bring back the community together um, and make sure that we're focusing on every aspect of campus, giving every single person on campus a voice and trying to find that balance between the two upper, the upper level of CMU and the community. Thank you all. Uh, Kyle, we'll start with you for our second question, which you will have two minutes to answer. Uh, why do you want to be vice president? What is the role of the vice presidency? And what is your goal with the vice presidency should you be elected? Okay, thank you. Well, I would like to be vice president, like I said, because I'm interested in student advocacy and I wanted to find a way to get involved on campus. And I also believe I have the skills and experiences necessary to do the job in an effective manner. Um, the vice president's position is very important. They're the presiding officer over the, student senate, over the student senate, and they also enforce ASG governing documents, and they're in charge of representing student interests no matter who the student is, how old they are, no matter what. We're in charge of those student interests. We also, as a vice president, I would also serve on the internal committee. I would serve on the fee review committee, and I would also be the chair of the election committee in the coming elections, and I'm prepared for all the responsibilities that come along with that, and I've attended ASG meetings in the past to make sure that I know what the procedure is like within the meetings, what the vice president does in Senate meetings, and everything like that. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Miles, we'll go to you next. Two minutes to answer. Yes, of course. Uh, as the role of the vice president, uh, I, hope, I hope to be that open outlet for all students within our campus. Uh, you know, a lot of, not a lot of people are educated within, it, within our campus and what ASG is all about. So hopefully I can be that outlet for them and hopefully to kind of encourage them to get more acclimated with ASG and, and to get more involved with, with, with what it's about. And as the role of the vice president, we want to, as, as the role of vice president, I hope to be as transparent as, transparent and as available as possible, because that's honestly what the key thing is for us and what our pillars are within our candidacy. Thank you, Miles. Uh, Malaya, same question for two minutes. I believe a vice president should be the voice for the community to be able to just take what students are looking for and be able to advocate for them. As vice president, I would do that and make sure to listen and really just um, having open eyes and ears for those around us. Thank you all. Uh, Molly and Kyle, uh, for this next question, which you'll have two minutes to answer, what experiences do each of you have at CMU that uniquely qualify you for the presidency and vice presidency? Uh, in my time here at CMU, I have excelled academically. I have been appointed to the Senate, and I'm also published in a political science textbook. But I think the most relevant experience that uniquely qualifies me for this position is my political science background. Political science um, studies relationships of power, underserved communities, and gives me a unique understanding of how I can ensure that I am representing people from different backgrounds and the diverse needs that they might have. Yes, and then my experience on campus is I'm a former student athlete. I played club hockey my freshman year. I'm a student worker. I work on grounds crew. I'm a political science major. I was published in the very same textbook Molly was. But also, as a team, Molly and I also have a history working in leadership positions in research projects, for example. We're able to lead a successful research project in a leadership position, and we think those skills will transfer over to ASG if we're elected. Thank you. Thank you uh, to Lani and Miles next. 
Thank you. Um, I have two years experience in ASG that I think makes me uniquely qualified. Um, starting my time in ASG, I was the uh, WCCC senator, that's now known as CMU Tech. And I had the amazing opportunity to uh, meet with Brigetta and the students of CMU Tech and really bridge the gap between the two campuses. And then this past year, um, for a majority of this school year, I was the chief of staff, which gave me the opportunity to know more of the logistics about CMU, I mean, about ASG, and um, read the governing docs and be able to answer those questions um, if need be. I also think that my experience as the CCHE student advisor makes me uniquely qualified because I am the first ever CMU student and I am the voice for all Colorado students. So being able to do that on a smaller scale here at, at my own university is important to me. And with that, I, I think me being involved with many things on campus, I'm able to cater to many different types of groups within our campus. Uh, we, like, like I said, we have many different people on this campus. So me being able to cater to them and to hear their voices and express that for them within ASG, I think that is truly important. Thank you, Lani and Miles. Uh, for Cambria and Malaya, same question, two minutes. Thank you. I think one of the things that makes me stand out, again, is um, my SRA role on campus. Um, SRA is a senior resident assistant, um, and I'm that for Tolman Hall. With that, I work over top a group of students that all are RAs in a building, um, and I help provide them support and make sure that they're working together to create a really good community within our building. Um, that has allowed me to be above a group of people and find that gap between being a, a leader and also just a friend. Um, I also, being a psychology major, um, I've spoken with the psychology club as well as NAMI um, about our first initiative, which is MAVS for Mental Health. Um, and we have gotten their ideas and heard their voices, and we're really excited to just go forward with them and see what we can do to improve the campus community. Yeah, and then as an RA in Pinion Hall, I have witnessed a lot of mental health crises in our students that nobody else have re really sees, and being able to bring resources to them and help them has been a big passion. And then also as a marketing and hospitality major. I have a lot of experience in being able to outreach to people, being able to really get um, things done. And yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, Molly and Kyle, we'll start with you for this next question, which you'll have two minutes to answer. Uh, the presidency and vice presidents, uh, president work with an extensive team. How do you plan to work with others whose views differ from your own and handle conflict within the organization? Thank you. Um, I think that my background, again, with political science as well as leadership positions in my everyday life mm -hmm. enable me to understand other people's perspectives and work appropriately. I think that it's really important to make sure that discussion is productive, professional, and that we are holding each other accountable for our own behavior. I think that ensuring we hear other perspectives that we might not agree with is perhaps the most important thing. I agree with Molly. I think being able to find a consensus within the associated student government when conflict comes up is very important. And both of us have a background both in interpersonal communications and dealing with these types of arguments. And we've studied how to get around how these arguments work, you know. We know how to talk to people. We know how to listen to people. And we know what the chain of command looks like, and we know what people's responsibilities are. So I think we're in a very good position to be able to speak with people and deal with conflicts when they come up in the future. Uh, thank you. To Lonnie and Miles, next <coughs> two minutes to answer. Thank you. Um, conflict is inevitable, and I think that my deep knowledge of the governing docs will allow me to hold not only my team, but uh, myself and Miles accountable uh, for what we are supposed to be doing according to those doc documents. Um, and I think just establishing that open line of communication and, and meeting on a weekly basis and, and really just ensuring that we're all on the same page every single week, putting forth the correct initiatives and, and voicing <coughs> Um, the students' opinions and um, just working really, really close together um, as a team. Yeah, and that just goes back to some of our main pillars as being transparent as possible with our team. Uh, and honestly, they, these people were given their roles 
uh, for a reason. So I feel like with us and Don, our trust in them, we trust them to do what they need to do and to get what needs to be done uh, within ASC and for uh, CMU. Thank you. For Cambria and Malaya, two questions to answer, sorry, two minutes to answer the same question. Thank you. I think that once again, our RA positions on campus really help with this. Um, we work with a team of 86 RAs as well as um, coordinators and professional staff members. Um, and we also have to handle and be available for residents. Um, and that can be up to 30 to 40 residents. Um, and we've also been trained on conflict resolution and crisis situations through that role. Um, and I think that would be able to translate into ASG by us having co open communication and be able to handle conflicts when they do arrive. Yeah, and I agree with Cambry. It's really listening and being able to understand and have an open mind to be able to see all perspectives and get a full grasp of anything before jumping to conclusions. Thank you all. Uh, for this next question, we'll be discussing the biannual budget process. As some of you may know, uh, the 20, 24, 25 school year is a biannual year where the associated student government will be responsible for uh, appropriating roughly $4 million in student fees. The process is long and arduous and involves meeting with every student fee funded organization on campus to set their budgets for the upcoming fiscal year. Molly and Kyle, two minutes to answer. How do you foresee yourself playing a role in the biannual as non-voting members of the organization while still protecting the best interests of your constituents? Thank you. Um, in our preparation, not only for this debate, but our campaign in general, we have reviewed the biennial process in depth, and we have a good understanding of how the processes work. As non-voting members, the best thing that we can do is support. Uh, we can't do our jobs alone and neither can I or neither can they. I think the most important thing for us to do is to be involved, to be informed and to listen. There are problems that are inevitably going to come up and as the last question reminded us that is a role that we are uniquely capable of handling and again the most important thing for us is to be involved. Yes, I agree with Molly. I think being involved in the biennial budget and planning for that is very important but I also think advocating for the voices of students handling the budget through their organizations is also important. Making sure that they have the help they need during the budget process and that student funded organizations are also aware of what they need to be doing. Molly and I will be available anytime that you need us via email or if we're elected in our office hours to be able to talk to people during the biennial budget process and any questions they may have related to what they need to do, what they need to do with ASG, and all the people they'll have to coordinate for it to go smoothly. Smoothly, Thank you. Uh, Lilani and Miles, same question, two minutes. Thank you. <clears throat> Being a part of um, a biannual process in the previous years, um, I learned a lot, and it's, I know that it's a very rigorous um, process, and I think being very supportive, uh, we wanna use our Instagram if we continue, um, and if we win, uh, to not only um, advocate or advertise um, sporting events and, and club events, but also to keep the students informed in what's going on throughout the biannual process and to support um, ASG during that time. Uh, we want to meet weekly with not only our CFO, but also um, the Speaker of the House and the Senate leader um, every single week to make sure that we're all on the same page and everything is going smoothly. And if they need anything from us, we'll be there. Yeah, and this just goes back to some of our key pillars, like I've been saying, uh, just being as transparent and as available as possible. Because at the end of the day, it is what's for the best for the students. Because ASG is something that is by the students for the students. Uh, Cambry and Malaya, two minutes to you. Thank you. I think one of the most important things for the biennial process is just to have open communication throughout it and to make sure that every student and every organization feels as heard as they can be. Um, we would do our best to make sure that we meet with every person that wants to meet with us so that they can share their visions for their organizations and so that we can support ASG through this process. And part of that would also be having an email that 
um, people can reach out to and making sure that we're checking that and meeting with people during office hours and just during that time, making sure we're as available as possible. Yes, and I agree with Cambry, keeping ourselves available and giving time to everybody to be able to speak and voice their concerns, opinions, and what they want, because we want to really be here for the students, to give the students what they need. Uh, final question to each team with two minutes to answer. Why should students of CMU vote for you for president and vice president? Molly and Kyle. Thank you. Um, I think that the thing that stands out about us is we are dedicated, hardworking, and our goals to establish and further community on campus are very important to us. As we know, they're very important to all of you. All of you come from different backgrounds and have different experiences at Colorado Mesa University. And I, if elected, will do everything in my power to make sure that your experience here exceeds expectations. Throughout the last couple weeks, Molly and I have been going around talking to students on campus athletes, students from small clubs, <coughs> students from big clubs, students from large organizations. We've talked to as many people as we humanly can with our like time constraints with classes and things like that. We feel that we're prepared to advocate for the students based on what they've told us and the concerns they've raised and the things they're interested in seeing on campus next year. And I hope that hearing the variety of voices we have during the campaign week and before them is example enough of how much we care about student opinions, student input, and what experiences the students want to have on campus. We're here for you guys. We're here for your experiences. We're here to give you opportunities. Thank you. Uh, Lilani and Miles. Thank you, John. Um, we want every student to feel heard, to feel seen. Um, we know that at the end of the day, we're, we might be here having a debate, but we're all going to go home and probably do homework. Um, so we're all students at the end of the day. And just remembering that, um, I think that uh, being a part of ASG in the past has allowed me to see the good and the bad and now I want to make it better and so I'm glad that I can be in this position and um, I promise to hold all of the pillars that we spoke about today um, and bring it into uh, our presidency next year. Yeah absolutely uh, we just want to continue to be that voice for CMU uh, continue to allow you guys voices to be heard and just be that open outlet for you guys so at the end of the day like she said we're all students we all have other responsibilities at the end of the day so we just want to be that open voice for you guys and support you guys as much as possible. And Cambria and Malaya. Thank you. We believe that um, students should vote for us because we are passionate about what we are talking about. We're passionate about mental health. We are passionate about giving every single person on campus a voice and a way to reach us. Um, and we are also passionate about just bringing the campus community together and being able to celebrate and have fun and just really experience the college experience that we intended to come here for. Um, with that, like the other groups have said, we have been going out of our way to meet with people, to hear out their voices, um, and we intend to continue to do that as president and vice president and just hear out every group of students and make sure that they all feel seen and heard. Yeah, and our passion is just to give people an experience. People want to graduate college with those memories and being able to offer those opportunities for everybody, every group of people, for every situation and being able to support people through their hard times and be able to come back and have a good time here in college. Uh, thank you all. Uh, each team will now have two min minutes to give their closing remarks. Molly and Kyle, we're, you'll start us off. Thank you. We just want to take this opportunity to thank CMU TV for hosting this event. Um, and we also want to thank ASG and the election committee for their work and uh, for presenting us with this opportunity. And last but most importantly, we want to thank the clubs, students, and organizations that we have met with the past weeks and for their perspectives, their understanding, and hopefully their faith in us. And we want to be certain to make sure that students on campus or administration or other students participating in ASG or student government or student organizations know that we have an open door policy if we were to be elected. You could email us at any time. You could walk through the door at any time during my office hours. Once you're in front of me, all my focus is on you, what you have to say, and what you're trying to accomplish. 
Thank you. Lilani and Miles, you'll now have two minutes for your closing remarks. Thank you. Uh, we just want to thank again um, CMU TV for hosting us and ASG and the election committee for all that they've done. Um, our four pillars of availability, transparency, campus inclusivity, and safety are true to who we are. Those are our values, and that will not be changing even if we win. And so we just hope that you know that you can trust us and that if we get elected, we will perform um, our duties to the best of our ability. Yeah, we will continue to be this voice for you guys throughout the throughout the entire year, throughout our entire term. Uh, and if you want somebody who will who are who are not afraid to put their foot down and to get your guys' voices heard, we are your we are your team for sure. Go Mavs! <laughs> Thank you, uh, Cambria and Malaya. Now your two minutes. Thank you. Um, like the other candidates have said, we just want to thank CMU TV and ASG and the election committee. Um, you guys have done a great job with this event. Um, we just want to bring it back to our three initiatives that we have been posting and speaking about, um, which is Mavs for Mental Health, um, making sure that every student has a voice, and bringing the hype back to campus. Um, we recognize that there are some great candidates in front of us, and any of us would make an amazing team for president and vice president. Um, and so do with that what you will. Thank you guys for hearing us out and listening today. Yes, thank you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity just to be here and just to speak. Uh, we want to be here for you. This is our opportunity to help you students. And yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, that concludes tonight's debate. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to CMU TV for hosting these debates. Uh, voting will open on Monday, April 15th at 12 a.m. and close on Friday, the 19th at 5 p.m. Make sure to vote and tell your friends to vote too. This has been John Monette with the Associated Student Government by the students, for the students. Have, you, have a happy election.